Be realistic. Be realistic. Okay. Hi folks, Liz here again, one of my off-the-cuff chats. I was thinking about, as I was walking here today, about being realistic. And it's something that people say to us a lot when we're thinking about, I don't know, what drives us, our dreams, what we'd like to do, the kind of life we'd like to live. And we'll often say to people, I'd like to be or do, add whatever you like there. Be a ballerina, scientist live a quiet life, build a, my own house, be president, I don't know, whatever it is that you want to do or be. And people will often say, for what they think are a lot of good reasons, be realistic. Be realistic. Now, there's a whole other video about reality and constructs, which I will do. Basically, sometimes they're saying, be realistic because Oh, let's see. One, I do love you, but if you change, then I might have to change. Be realistic. You might get hurt. Well, life shit, you know, it happens. So, let me tell you a story. <clears throat> Many years ago, when I was in my 20s, I was working two jobs and doing my postgraduate recreation. So, things were going really well. I was offered a three-month contract, but I had to give up my jobs and I had finished my, nearly finished my postgrad. So I was like, okay. Because <laughs> anyone that knows me <laughs> knows that uh, reality in me is sometimes not terribly, terribly connected. Anyway, <clears throat> I did it. It was brilliant. I got more contacts. I ended up working with the Department of Sport and Recreation for four years. And in that time, when I was about 25 or 26, I was asked to run a week-long long activity camp for people over 55. Now, in my life, my folks weren't even in their 50s. I think they were in their 40s at the time. Um, and I was kind of like, what? I have to spend a week with old people? Oh, God, that's going to be so boring. Hmm. Yeah, be realistic. There were people there from their 50s, 60s and 70s. We abseiled, we kayaked, we got up in the morning and did major exercise. I had to have a nap in the afternoon because I couldn't keep up. Now, there was a woman there who was probably about 74, 75. Oh, my God, she was amazing. And we sat down and had these really long chats. And she said to me, people have said to me all my life, be realistic. And I pretty much told them to, well, use whatever swear word you want to use. Back off. She said, uh, last year, now, tell, the woman's 74. Last year, I went to Peru or one of those places. And they were having one of those go up the mountain, see the sunrise kind of thing. So she got, she said to the bus tour thing, no, I don't want to actually go on the bus. I'd actually like to go up the mountain on a donkey and I'd have to start about four o'clock in the morning. And he's like, you guessed it. Be realistic at your age and you're a woman. No way. So she like pretended to agree with him, which I know I shouldn't tell you, but it's actually a really good tactic sometimes. Agree with people and then just do what you want. Anyway, so <laughs> she does get a guide and a donkey and goes up the mountain and the bus passes her as she's up there. Um, I love this woman because she became the kind of role model I wanted about what it is to challenge the kind of life you want to live, to actually live the life you want to live. And to not contain it because people want you to be safe or because people don't want you to change. That's a whole other story indeed. Anyway, about six months later, because my area covered about 19 different counties, so I would visit all the counties and visit people and shires and do all sorts of work, which was amazing. And I knocked on her door and no one answered. And my first thought was, oh shit, she died. Oh no, you know, it's my 20s. Oh well, everyone over 50 is going to die soon. Um, now I'm in my 50s, I'm hoping that doesn't happen anytime soon. So, I actually knocked on the door of a neighbour and she said, Oh no, she's, um, I said, you know, is she okay? Oh yeah, she's off on her honeymoon. Yep. She'd met someone and they were off on their honeymoon and they were starting a, um, um, a goat or one of those sort of exotic sheep herd things. 
Yeah, in your 70s, you can get married, climb a mountain, and start a new business. So I'm sorry, be realistic. Now, okay, are there t I can hear voices, not just inside my head, but out there, saying, oh yeah, but there are times when you have to be realistic. And I'm like, yes, there are. If you have a dream and you have a goal, there is a certain amount of realism in terms of the resources you need. And once again, that's another thing we have to talk about in another video. But you don't get realistic at the beginning of the dreaming. You don't get realistic at the beginning of the imagining. Yeah? Give yourself space and time to explore the life you want to live, the kind of person you want to be. And when people start saying, be realistic, tell them, well, tell them they can be as realistic as they like. And you're exploring right now what it is that you want to be and do. So, yeah, be realistic, of course. But think about that, remember that 70 year old woman, ah, bugs! Hold on. <laughs> I can't kill them. Ah! <laughs> so, I think one of my modules, I Am What I Believe, in the Life Dreaming Expedition, talks about this a lot. So, if you feel like doing the expedition, go on the site, have a look at what it's all about. Um, there's lots of other, there's lots of free stuff, lots of stuff to look at. But, you know, all my life, I have not listened to be realistic. And yeah, you know, sometimes it's not worked and sometimes it's worked. But I've lived the life I want to live. And I believe that there are so many people who haven't listened to that, who have pushed boundaries. Four minute mile, be realistic. Who push boundaries around their own identity, their sexual identity, their political identity, the way they want to be in the world. Jesus, if women had listened to be realistic you know there's so many things you can't do or be well you know bugger it get out there dream imagine and be realistic in your own precious fabulous way bye for now <laughs>